What if one man's curiosity rewrote the science of the human body? In the bustling heart of medieval Damascus, physician Ibn al-Nafis challenged centuries of accepted wisdom. For nearly a thousand years, scholars believed blood passed directly between the heart's chambers through invisible pores, as described by Galen. But in the 1240s, as Ibn al-Nafis dissected animals and pored over anatomy texts, he saw something different. He proposed a revolutionary idea. Blood does not seep directly from the right to the left side of the heart. Instead, it travels from the right ventricle to the lungs, where it picks up air and then flows to the left ventricle, a process now known as pulmonary circulation. His meticulous observations and clear writing, recorded in his commentary on Avicenna's Canon of Medicine, predated European discoveries by centuries. Despite the significance of his findings, his work remained largely unknown in the West until the 20th century. Ibn al-Nafis's insights mark a turning point in medical history, revealing the true path of blood through the heart and lungs and laying foundational knowledge for modern cardiology.